for your health. Some central Indiana moms are warning others about a holiday danger you hear about every year. Kids swallowing small toy parts and mistaking those items and batteries for snacks. Now they're sharing their story saying it can happen in an instant and to anyone. CBS 4's Angela Brower shares one mother's story. This had to be so scary for you. It was a scary situation for Jessica McNair and her four-year-old child, Peyton. Jessica was at the gym when her husband called her in a panic, saying their son was complaining of throat pain. And he was kind of talking about how he had put something in his mouth and he couldn't get it out. And I take my phone flashlight and I'm looking in his throat and the first thing I see is two magnets stuck to either side of his uvula. Jessica rushed Peyton to the hospital where an x-ray confirmed that little boy had swallowed 25 buckyball magnets. I just remember like my stomach dropping, my heart sinking. I felt sick to my stomach. The worst day of my life. Doctors used a scope to remove the balls. These images show the magnets sticking to the rod as they pulled it out. So I was embarrassed. I felt guilt. I felt shame. And I still do to this day. Um, feel like, you know, had I not gone to the gym and had I been home, maybe this wouldn't have happened. And then my husband beats himself up about it. She said her husband had turned away for one second to take a phone call, and that's when her son swallowed those small parts. Peyton said he was pretending to eat spaghetti. I don't think it's bad parenting. They're just fast. Medical experts at Riley Hospital for Children, along with Jessica, are now warning other Hoosier parents about hazardous toys and the small parts that might be inside. Anything with a magnet could also perforate their organs. Message is just, you know, these magnets, they're not meant to be in your home. There's a lot of other cool toys out there for the holiday season. Um, and so maybe looking at some of those. Dr. Foreman said he's seen a handful of similar cases, mostly in toddler to young children, but also into teenagers.